Are you ready to rewind? Take a nostalgia filled ride back to a simpler time. It's Acid Wash Memories, a retro pop culture celebration. And now, your hosts, Joe Morata and Michael Quinn. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Acid Wash Memories, a retro pop culture celebration. This is episode number nine, and today we're getting cereal. Oh, I'm Joe Morata, and that guy over there is Michael Quinn. How you doing there, Michael? Otherwise known as Captain Crunch. Yes, obviously. That's my name. <laughs> Thank you guys so much here for joining us for another week in the world of the retro pop culture realm. We really do appreciate you being with us here. If this is your first time, be sure to check out some of our previous episodes in the archives. We have eight other ones. And of course, you can follow us on Twitter at AWM Podcast on Twitter. You can also join our free Facebook discussion group. Mm-hmm. And just talk about the old stuff with us there. Yeah, the stuff. The stuff. And that's really it as far as the particulars. Today, we're talking about cereal. Now, if you were born, man, if you were born, period, yeah. you've eaten cereal, I would imagine. I hope so. I would hope so. It'd be a very sad childhood. It really would. And I would imagine for a lot of you that grew up in the 70s, 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, there was a tradition, Michael Quinn, Mm -hmm. of maybe waking up for school, having some cereal before school. While your parents are drinking the Folgers in their cup. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. I've had Folgers. It's not the best part of waking up, let me tell you that much. It's it's amazing that that was like (laughs) the fucking coffee. Wasn't it? Yeah. But you're eating your cereal, right? And that's fine. Then you go to school. Mm -hmm. But what about on Saturdays? Well, then you wake up, you get your cereal, and what do you do? You watch cartoons. You watch yeah. cartoons. Saturday mornings, this fall. You gotta watch or you eat your donuts. Or you, some of us, some, some families. Some of us, yes. It's a special time. Yes. <laughs> but you're watching your cartoons, you're watching your television program, maybe Say by the Bell. Yeah. You know, it was on during the day. But you're eating cereal, and cereal advertising was mm-hmm. ubiquitous if you oh, were yeah. a kid during the 80s, 90s, right? It's weird them 70s. advertising a cereal while you're eating cereal, hey. right? Just in case. Because I guess they figured the parents are going to the grocery store on the weekend. Right. And they're like, oh, Good we point. want little little Billy to like little Billy. beg for whatever this is. Exactly. So little Billy out there, this is for you this episode, because not only are we going to talk about the history of cereal, like we always do, but in a short while, we have a very special guest that we're bringing on because we are going to actually rank the four best oh. cereals of all time in our professional opinion, of humble course. Opinion. Humble. Yeah, yeah, also humble. But before we do that, let's start at the beginning. Quinn, what is cereal? No. Well, it's... <laughs> Processed corn and wheat, and yeah, or also, barley and grains. Depends on what what the cereal type. Marshmallows, perhaps. Yeah, could have um, marshmallows. A raisin, raisins, <laughs> some yeah. type of fruit, and lots of sugar, and lots of Tons sugar. Tons of fucking sugar. Tons of it. I mean, cereal in twenty twenty three is a twenty one billion dollar <laughs> industry much, eh? worldwide. I yes. can believe it. It's a big deal. And between the seventies and into the late nineties, the number of cereals available more than doubled from like the mid one hundreds to over three hundred something. And today there are over five thousand varieties of cereal out Interesting. there. It's crazy. I'm, I'm assuming that's because of the brands for each of the local grocery stores where they have their like alternate version where the guy does the like walk on the bottom. <laughs> Like, don't yeah. get the cheap stuff or whatever. Yeah, that, puts remember, the bag under his arm. Remember that fucking guy? <laughs> yeah, of course from, I from do. In the 90s. You know, more people are walking this way, so they're in a better position to find Malto Meal cereals. They're usually down here. But cereal got started, uh, well, really, the genesis was with the Native Americans with their ground corn, which later became grits. You've uh, heard of grits, I right? I see. You never heard of grits? Sure. Sure, I heard of grits. I used to actually never seen a grit before. And grits is from an old English word that meant gravel, which is Mm. a very appetizing word. What a great description. (laughs) Absolutely. And then came hominy, which is dried milled corn. Okay, fine. Fast forward to the 19th century, let's see, 1800s. There was this big anti-meat for breakfast movement, meaning we got to get people healthier. You can't be having, you know, No more steak and eggs. Can't be having steak and ham and all these things Mm. for breakfast. 
So what they came up with in the so-called serial revolution of 1854, if you're keeping track of the dates here, 1854. So right before the Civil War. Right before the Civil War. Yeah. Landmark of, of an event. Was what kind of vegetarian options do we have for breakfast, right? If we're not doing meats, what are we going to do? Well, Ferdinand Schumacher of the German Mills American Oatmeal Company, you've probably heard of him, of course, uh, using a grinding method for his oats out of Akron, Ohio. Mm. And this was a game changer because he was able to grind up his oats, turn it into something that was palatable for breakfast, and market it, believe it or not, as a (laughs) substitute for pork. What? Yeah, ground oats as a substitute for for pork. I wish I wish we could know what was going through these people's heads. Like it's like fuck that meat in <laughs> yeah. the morning. Like what was so bad about it? Was it were they just like were they experiencing like people having heart attacks or something? Like I don't understand. You know, I don't I don't know because I know in many other parts of the world outside of the United States, people eat all different sorts of things that we would normally think of as savory foods for breakfast. I mean, this is just an invented fucking thing that there's breakfast food. People since the dawn of time have probably been eating whatever the fuck was around. Right. Lamb, yeah, it's like they're <laughs> mutton. They called it breakfast because they're breaking their feast. They're, exactly they're right. Breaking their fast. Sorry. Yeah, or breaking their fast, having yeah. a feast for breakfast. Yeah, they're having a feast to break that fast. Right. <laughs> exactly. So like, just didn't matter what the hell you know. No. Just that there was food. But this guy Ferdinand Schumacher ground up the oats, marketed it as a substitute for pork, improved his production, and by 1877 changed the name to the American Cereal Company. Hmm. Now, the American Cereal Company made their own oat cereal, and by 1888, the seven largest oat mills in the country were all combined into what we now know as Quaker Oats. Ah. Well, here's a bowl of steaming Quaker oatmeal, and I can't think of a healthier way to start the day. Meanwhile, John Harvey Kellogg, a physician from Michigan, was the superintendent at the Western Health Reform Institute in Battle Creek, Michigan. And at this place, there was a strict vegetarian diet. So Mr. Kellogg experimented first with granola. Ah, we've heard of granola, of course, right? And then wheat. Aha. So we have the oats cereal with Quaker oats, so they're right? The, o- the oat man over Those there. Those are the oat man. Kellogg was doing wheat. And in 1891, he got a patent, and that patent was for corn flakes. Aha. Uh-huh. Which launched in 1895. Now, is that like considered like the first true. You know, the cereal. Well, I guess maybe as we would think of it today, but I when guess because th- it's still around. When you, yeah, exactly. When you think of the Quaker Oats, though, yeah. they were doing their own oat cereal. The flagship. The flagship. The Kellogg brand. Yes. Nothing gets you crowing in the morning like the crisp corn taste of Kellogg's Corn Flakes. But guess what? The story gets better because meanwhile, Charles W. Post was a salesman. I know that name. You do. Due to the stress of his job, he experienced a nervous breakdown in 1891 after first having one six years earlier in 1885. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm, and, I'm, that's crazy that they even knew what the fuck that was in the <laughs> 1880s and 1890s. Oh, to be a salesman in the yeah. late 1800s, let me tell you that. So he was admitted to the sanitarium in Battle Creek, Michigan, <gasps> which was operated by, you guessed it, John Harvey Kellogg. Interesting. Interesting. So they, they cross. So this is this is kind of like um, Dave Thomas and fucking what's his head the the Colonel, the Colonel Sanders. Sanders situation, <laughs> isn't go. it? Yes, so pretty they crossed much. paths and started their own cereal <laughs> companies. Yes, <laughs> yes. So first, Mister Post founded the Postum Cereal Company, which the first product they marketed was a drink known as a cereal beverage called Postum. And for a grand cold drink at mealtime or any time. You certainly couldn't ask for anything more satisfying than a tall, frosty glass of ice postum. Then, the first cereal by Postum, Grape Nuts, in 1897. Ugh. Now, first of all, Grape Nuts is like eating a box of nickels. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing with this? It's pretty shit. It is not grapey or nutty. I feel like Mr. Kellogg kind of set him up to fail here. You he think gets he like the shitty cereal. fucking with him? <laughs> he gets like the shitty one. <laughs> yeah, call it Grape Nuts. Like they're working on it together and it comes out and Kellogg's kind of like, this is no good. But he's that's like going on in his head and he's like, <laughs> he feels bad for a post because right. he just had the nervous breakdown right, right. and he's like, this could be your thing. You, you can get back on your feet. Right. You're out of the sanitarium. Like, this is it. Right? Grape Nuts. <laughs> grape Nuts. Grape Nuts. Whoa, what a crunch. That's unreal. It's not unreal. It's all natural. But guess what? Meanwhile, the Washburn Crosby Company, a flour mill, suffered a dust explosion in 1878. 
Holy shit. Yes, Quinn. Fuck is a dust explosion. An actual explosion, an accident at the factory happened. Incredible. <laughs> and this was known, and you look it up, folks, as the Great Mill Disaster. Okay. I mean, what did it mess up a bunch of production in America at the time? I mean, if, if people yeah. knew about it, right? A if, flour mill, yeah. Their, their shit was affected. Well, think about it. You know, this is a place where a lot of flour comes from. They have a big issue. And now you it's know, gone. Just 18 employees died. Whoa. Holy it was a big shit. deal. But guess what? The mills were then rebuilt. And not only were they safer, but they produced higher quality product. And that was important because by 1928, again, if you're dating this, we are post the First World War. Right. The president of the Roaring Twenties. The economy is doing good. In 28, were they? 29's the crash. Oh, yeah. Good point. (laughs) It's like uh, the peak right now. We're doing the best we can do. The most of it it roared was in 28, actually. And in 1928, the president of the Washburn Crosby Company, Mr. James Ford Bell, popular guy, obviously. We all know him. He merged the Washburn Crosby Company with three other mills in the United States to form... Quinn, you want to take a guess? General Mills. You got it. There it is. And their first cereal? Wheaties. Ah, now that's a success story. Yeah. You bet eat your Wheaties. So this is how sh- cereal was uh, up to the First World War. Healthy. You know, granola, corn. An alternative to wheat. pork. Exactly. An alternative <laughs> to pork. Fuck that bacon. But where did all the sugar come in? Yeah, where, where did it come in, Joe? Well, typically, as we've discovered on the show... Post World War II, yes, <laughs> during the baby boom, right? And all pop culture formed, <laughs> yeah, pretty much as we're learning here. Yeah, uh, these companies, all of them, started to market to children, mm. the kids, because which, those adults were not giving up that bacon. Absolutely not. They're eating the pork. They're having the bacon. They're bringing home the bacon I too. Eat crap, all economy. during the depression. I'm not going to eat <laughs> crap in the morning right. anymore. I want my damn ham. <laughs> yeah, officer, somebody wobbed my post alphabet. I believe it was that crazy wabbit, Bugs Bunny. So, obviously, marketing to children is a tried and true tactic, Quinn. We know that from everything from cartoons to toys to games to clothes to snack food to junk food. If you want to sell something, tell a kid about it. It'll get sold because they will bug their parents until the parent this buys is, it for them. This is true. That's how it goes. And that's kind of how we got to where we were for a very long time with all the mascots emerging, all these sugary cereals that we all love so much that we're going to be talking about very soon. But by the early 80s, What began was the anti-sugar, pro-health movement, and it it did extend to cereal. Mm. However, we're not really going to be concerned about that. Nobody cares about that. No, because all the memories we have, I doubt you have a lot of good memories of eating all bran on a Saturday morning. Nobody are grape nuts. (laughs) Right, or Special K or something like that. So what we're going to be talking about today are the four best... We're going to talk about a lot of cereals, obviously, but we're going to do our best to narrow it down to just four... And if you are joining us for the first time here and you did not listen to our previous uh, wrestling-related show, our Vantage Point, the Retro Wrestling Podcast, we did a segment for a very long time. Very long. Right. There's a lot of these. (laughs) Called Mount Rushmore and Death Valley. And what that was is each week we would take four of the best of something and put it on a Mount Rushmore. Four of the worst went down to the desert of Death Valley. However... Today, we're just focusing on the positives. Yes. We're only doing a Mount Rushmore. Good. And it is good, right? It'll be very nice. It's a very positive show around here. And it is the Mount Rushmore of... (laughs) Cereal. Cereal. Very dramatic. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, that was a, a big intro. <laughs> What's going on around here? So, cereal. Yes, we are talking about cereal, the ones you grew up on. We're going to want to hear yours. We want to hear your four, four best cereals. And if you disagree, that's quite okay, because yeah. this is all opinion anyway. It's just for funsies. Just for funsies. But, Quinn, when you talk about cereal, as we're going to be doing here, ranking the four best. Oh, yeah. Very high need, stakes. Yeah, we yeah. need to bring in an expert for something like this. We do. Now... For the first time ever, a guest on Acid Wash Memories. What is this? She is a professional wrestling commentator and announcer. Oh. A professional cereal eater. Oh. And of course, our announcer that you hear at the beginning of every single episode of Acid Wash Memories. Oh, this is her. This is her. In the flesh. The lovely, the talented, Alyssa Marino. How you doing, Alyssa? Hi, my friends. I'm very 
excited to be here. I'm, I'm so excited to chat with you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, actually, really. Yeah, In all thank seriousness. You, thank you for being here. Thank you for being yes. here. It's time to get cereal, would you say? Oh, I would say it's always time to get cereal in my book. So <laughs> I, the stakes are high, I heard. So oh, there's I'm a very lot of stakes. excited. Lots yeah, of stakes. Yeah, a little high. A little. <laughs> They're a little high. A little, uh, a little. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to be ranking the four best, like we've told you guys. Yes. Okay. I think the best thing to do is let our guest put the first one on the table. Of course. Alyssa Marina, what do you got? All right. I'm setting the table with my number one, the very top of my list, no matter how everything else shakes out. Number one on my list is always Golden Grams. Ooh. Ooh. How do they cram all that gram into Golden Grams? I don't know. It's a sleeper pick. I literally, I feel like I could write a dissertation on why it is so good. Do you want the explanation now or do you want just the... Go for it. State your case. State your case. Yes. Yeah, state my case. Okay. So for Golden Grams, I feel like the individual pieces stay intact much better than a lot of other cereals. So by the time you get to the bottom of the box, you're not left with a lot of like shaky crumble kind of garbage. The shaky crumble. Like powdery. Yes. That's definitely advantage. (laughs) Definitely. Uh, Similar shape as cinnamon toast crunch but doesn't i feel get soggy quite as quickly mm, good point very salient argument thank you thank you uh, a little touch of sweetness but not too much not like that really saccharine gross faux sweetness to it i think generally can work with a lot of different milk variations so i feel like that is uh, going to be my number one Ooh, the milk variation that, factor yes very the important MVF. in certain the households MVF. Very important in certain households. Like you yours. Know, when, yes. Where mom picks up the 2% without warning. I, I didn't need a warning. We always yeah. had the 2%. Okay, so Golden Grabs is on the table, which is an excellent case, Alyssa. Mm. Thank you. Thank Michael you. Quinn, experienced cereal eater yourself. Well, I was going to nominate Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but I'll, I'll wait till the, the end oh. if we need extra ones. Really? Because I oh. think the Golden Grams, there was a good argument about the pieces and the brush up at the bottom. Corn pops, not without my pops. Yeah. Gotta have my pops. Lovely cereal. Are they? Uh, yes. Aren't they the ones yeah. that come in the foil bag yes. still? Or did they? <laughs> like they they definitely did. Yeah, right. I associated a lot with those like six pack things. Oh, and, you mean and, the variety? Yes. Pack. You're at like a hotel or something, and they're like, <laughs> no. a "Continental breakfast. We got we got a bunch of cereal here." Right. We're pulling out all the stops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, those pops. I don't know what it is. They do. I'll say this, their one weakness, I'll, I'll give the weakness first, is that they do get soggy. They are a soggy one. Oh, they get droopy. However, I think that they maintain pretty well, even when they're soggy, unlike a lot of cereals that it's like, I don't want to eat this anymore. If you can, like, adapt, it's an adaptable cereal. How about that? Adaptable. Okay. Adaptable cereal. Does it pass the MVF test though the milk variation factor test well i'm not always experiment I, I don't live in my mother's house anymore so i don't well, know yeah. some uh, people would i don't know. have this problem anymore it's just whole milk in my home but he just has a cow actually yeah we, we just right in <laughs> the garage fresh, yeah, you know? yeah but anyway um it's sweet but it's not too sweet it's almost kind of like, like you, you quinn fake pass it off like it's healthy <laughs> yeah kind of like me yeah but um seriously it, it's like this fake healthy but not really Corn can, Pops is not fake healthy. I can get what, away with that as like part on? of the complete breakfast back in the day, okay? That I mean, was, there's corn in the title. Yes. Corn's like a vegetable. So exactly. It's, it's exactly. Healthy, right? like it, Let me just write that down. Corn yeah. is like a vegetable. Alyssa Marino, 2023. I still Thank have you. a problem with that whole mixture. Corn, is it a vegetable? Is it not? But that it feels like a you're talking separate to. podcast. Well, we know what team Alyssa's on. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. that my nomination is for Corn Pops first here. Let's throw it in the mix. Yeah. Um, I think it's a solid... <laughs> Solid cereal. I don't think it is, but okay, okay. You're don't worry. I got other ones. So definitely you know, unique in uh, as far as texture is concerned. I feel absolutely. like there are very few cereals that can replicate. And we're talking. I've I've had the pleasure of trying Canadian pops, <laughs> way different than U.S. pops. No way. Super different. It's funny you bring up texture because I think this would be a factor in all of these going forward. Yes, sir. We need to have the uh, dry as a snack factor oh. cereal thing going on here because I was a big fan of eating cereal just straight out the box when on I the was couch, a kid. Yeah. Just watching I lay, on, lay on the floor with my feet up on the TV entertainment center. The best. Amazing. Okay, okay. well I'm so, glad we're establishing some criterion. And I think corn pops do a good job in that regard. So you gotta have yeah. your pops. Is it corn pops or pops? Corn they, they, they pops say, and then they gotta ch- have my pops. What, what? Well it's a shortened name. Yeah. I feel like the, like the street name is yes. pops. Yes. Right. But like the, the government name is corn pops. Yes. 
<laughs> the Christian name, it's, it's if you Christian will. Name it's Christian is name is Corn Pops. Corn. Yes, okay. Corn, corn Pops, its last name is Pops. I get it I now. get yes. Yeah. All okay. Right. The so, third, if you want to like yeah, really get into it. I get, yeah, technically. Definitely. We don't, we don't talk about that much, though. We don't you talk know, about it's, yeah. it's four fathers. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Or it's five fathers. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm, I'm going to put one on the table. Thank you for laughing at that. Um, and that's going to be the one that you mentioned, Michael. So I'm stealing it from you here because you were too slow mm-hmm. on the draw there, fella. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm glad you're nominating it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, an all-timer. Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Look at all that Cinnamon Toast Crunch on TV. Oh, mm-hmm. It passes all. All of the tests here. The milk variation factor. Yes. It true. passes the dry snack factor. Yes. Definitely. It is delicious. And even if you do get a little bit of those crumbles at the end there, mm. scoop them up with your hand and eat them. I mean, come on. What are we talking you about You could here? just get a spoon with the... I think with, so. With the, with you get a straw if you're in the right the mood. End. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch Dust. I think that's an all-timer. I think that it's a memorable cereal. Mm-hmm. I think Agreed. people... Love it. It's pretty much universally. If you grew up watching the Saturday morning cartoons, you wouldn't be disappointed to have that in the house. No way. You know, we have two mascots here right now. We have that weird old guy that Wendell. <laughs> Wendell. Who knows his name? You know his name, Wendell. He's the baker, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Wendell. Yeah, and Wendell. we got the the, the the golden bear, right? Is that is that his name? He's a wuss. No, I feel like that was from <laughs> Honey Smack. Or no, is that, no, that was a froggy. Snack. Golden crisp, golden, golden, crisp. golden crisp. crisp. Sorry, I've confused the two. That's okay. Does That's it okay. does it have a mask on Golden I Grams? I actually don't think Golden Grams does. I think maybe back in the day it may have. I feel like I, I don't remember feel like right one. Now it does. Competing bears of some kind. Well, I don't know what's you know, going on in my yeah. head right now. They don't. No, I'm looking at the current box here, 2023 they, edition. They've... I feel like you might be thinking of Sugar Bear, okay. which was from Golden Crisp. This is why Alyssa's here. Yes. I mean, this is why we brought in an expert, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm just throwing and, out my memories here. And I also want to go back to the adaptability of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I do feel like it has the popularity factor. Like, if you talk to anybody mm. about cereal, they're going to name Cinnamon Toast Crunch because it's just so popular. But also, those crumbles at the bottom of your cereal box, you can mix that into some baking ideas. Ooh. You could put that on your French toast. Like, there's a lot you can do with the crumbles of Cinnamon Toast Crunch as opposed to the crumbles of other cereal variations. And didn't they eventually just do that? and put it in those those bars or whatever uh there are cinnamon toast crunch bars yes i've had i remember those they're delicious like we put the milk in it but it's just frosting (laughs) i swear that was to convince mothers that it was okay or something but a lot of this is just to convince households that like no this isn't weird processed stuff it's fine it's natural it's a vegetable part of a complete breakfast i swear that that was always used as like no, I feed my son a complete bre- <laughs> part part of a complete breakfast. At least part of one. Yes, <laughs> of course. Part of it. This is healthy. <laughs> and then we have the entomins on the side as well, just in case. Oh, like, grow up in your house. Yeah, that, I mean, it was always Yum. sweets in the morning over Yum there. Is right. Kick it off right, you know. Seriously. Okay, so we got three on the table here. Is there anything else we want to keep kicking around, Alyssa? We can go back to you if you got more. I feel like we have a lot of sweetness that's kind of like spicy sweetness as Ooh. opposed to like fruity sweetness. Okay. So I feel like we need something that's going to like capture the fruit factor of it. And for me, I'm going to be going with fruity pebbles. <gasps> fruity pebbles Ooh. to me has the adaptability factor. You can put them into fruity pebbles bars, like how people make rice krispies bars. Yep. Incredible mascots, <laughs> brilliant marketing and yeah. merchandising that they've done a lot of different stuff with. Money, my pebbles. <laughs> Tasty. Delicious. <laughs> yes. Very and delicious. Uh, I very, think very we're good. past the MVF. It does get soggy quickly, but I think that it has uh, it, it has that. What did we even say? Milk factor. Milk, milk variation milk, factor. Milk variation factor. Milk adaptability. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's yeah. that too. We got all yeah. sorts of technicalities here. And I think they also, uh, although not quite as convenient to grab a handful of and just snack on, True. definitely are satisfying as a dry snack. Well, also, too, even when it does kind of get soggy, that Fruity Pebbles gruel that you scoop <laughs> oh, out of that yeah. bowl, it's good. I will say one knock against it that I will say. Don't say anything about the, Fred. No, about the snackability. I used to always have trouble. Like yeah. it, it's always like dropping yeah. out of your yeah. hands. Like yep. it's like it's a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you eat you eat fruity pebbles as like their popcorn or something. Oh, it, you're it's screwed. all over the floor. <laughs> like it's you need just, a vacuum. You find like a week later, you find like a nugget of fruity pebbles somewhere in the carpet. They should sell that with dustbusters. Yeah, make it killing. <laughs> yeah. To be honest with you. So it's what you're telling me is it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, it leaves you surprises for later on in your yeah. life. <laughs> that, yeah, exactly. That, okay, then we'll put that a point in his favor. The, I, the surprise is later on. Anything goes here. <laughs> yes, yeah. anything does go. Okay, so out of the four that we have right now, which I'm going to run down for you folks that are listening intently at home, 
We got Golden Grams. We got Corn Pops. Uh, we got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And we got the Fruity Pebbles. Alyssa Marino, Michael Quinn. Is anything on this list a definite number one is, mm. where we're all in agreement here that it's going to make Rushmore? Mm, cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I yeah, think cinnamon so, toast right? Crunch, I think so it it's definitely going to make it in. I think no it has to. No doubt about it, right? I agree. We're all okay with turning our keys here and we'll put it on? That's I'm good. in agreement. Yeah. All right. That way. So for yeah. number... Yeah, that way. <laughs> for Drink number, a little, little bit. Yeah. Quinn. <laughs> for number one, Cinnamon <laughs> Toast Crunch. They're great. That's our oh, special that's, sound effect here. Oh, now you've reminded me of somebody. I well, didn't even I know, know that was coming. Tony the Tiger wow. sponsoring yeah. this segment, by the way. Is Did our, he just Tony? edge his way into this, well, this he, discussion? He horns into everything. He, oh, kids, you're playing soccer? Here, have some fucking cereal. What was that? He got really got into <laughs> soccer briefly. He did. Like, I'm not making it it's up. It's like, you know, he screw did. basketball. He did. Soccer now. <laughs> Heads up. Oh, 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 oh. I just feel like as like I'm I'm cool with Big Tone, but I feel like he might get like <laughs> toxic. Like if I actually knew Tony the Tiger, like I feel like he's a little bit maybe too competitive. That's a um, good point. Yeah. You know, I just feel like I don't know how I like the jury's still out in my book on just how friendly I would be with Tony the Tiger. Mm. Like I keep him <laughs> at an arm's length. He does you know? feel like the jock at school. Yeah, Which it's true. Made yeah. me it's true. uncomfortable as a so, as a kid. So like, if he's being nice to you, it's just because he wants to. He's just being kind. Yeah, he's like looking down on yeah, you. Right. It's like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, or like he wants something from you. Yeah. Like I was a musical right. theater kid, and I just don't feel like he and I would have like gelled. It's like he's looking to like fill his like touch football team, and he's just like filling his team. You know, he's playing touch. Yeah, oh, that's not bad. No, well, I mean, he, you know, he's, he's not for younger kids. Yeah, you can't, not, you can't have real tackle over that's there. A good point, Quinn. Yeah. but I feel like if you got him on the field, like he would find a way to bend those rules. Absolutely. Just because he oh, wants yeah. to win so badly. Oh, yeah. yeah, and never admit to it either is mm. the thing about oh, him. Oh, no, absolutely so, not. So we're all in agreement. Tony the Tiger's kind of an asshole. So we're just going to talk <laughs> shit about Tony the Tiger here, I guess. Right? <laughs> this really escalated quickly. Yeah. I, I kind of like, I started out where I was like, I'm not sure how I feel. But now I'm like, what a jerk that Tony is. <laughs> However, the cereal is pretty good. It's a classic. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you, you can't deny that. Frosted Flakes. Alyssa? I mean, that's that's a classic. Okay, I'm going to say it. I hope I don't make any enemies. To me, Frosted Flakes is a little overrated. Well, you oh. know where to write in, folks. But how can you? Di- how can you? You can find me at ayy underscore marino. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I just feel like so. I do remember reading somewhere that Frosted Flakes is actually one of the least healthy cereals that there is, <laughs> just because it is so sugary. It's more Tony the Tiger gaslighting, where he's yeah. like, well, "It's yeah. healthy. You'll be an athlete." It's like, will I, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the original name of the cereal was Sugar Frosted Flakes until like the eighties. Go with Tony the Tiger and get what it takes to start every morning Kellogg Sugar Frosted Flakes. Yeah, but do you think that the Tony the Tiger thing is like overcompensating for like they know it's shitty? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's like, oh, we got to put some athletic. So they get an athletic tiger here. Like, I think the Exxon Tiger could kick his ass, by the way. They're very similar. Are they like brothers or something? They look exactly the same. Yeah, I think they're cousins. Yeah. But anyway, you know, it is funny you say that about the uh, the sweetness or whatever, Uh because (laughs) that cereal does something to the milk. Oh, it does. It makes it, it makes it like sugar. Yeah, it's true. Like absolute just sugar. If you milk, drink enough milk. of that, you'll grow hair on your teeth. Yeah, it's it's a serious <laughs> it's a serious problem. They, they could sell milk like as a treat that was like previously had Frosted Flakes in it, and they just oh, packaged yeah. it. I think that I saw an Instagram thing about that once, where like someone really? had a friend and their parents would just save the cereal milk and put it in the fridge. Yeah, but specifically from Frosted Flakes. You don't want to intermix. It's you don't want like gross. Trix milk. What's wrong like, with you Trix know? milk? I'm just saying it's different flavors. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Now, this might be, I might be getting a little in the deep end here, but what kind of cereal would Frosted Flakes cereal milk be good with? Ooh. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, so... You see, I would just drink it like regular milk, but that's just well, me. You would. What if you put it in your coffee, even? Oh. Frosted mm. Flakes oh coffee creamer. That, now, that's a market they might be missing out on. I think. What if you put it in with like regular cornflakes? Then it'd probably be good, right? Yeah, because cornflakes sucks. It would probably just sucks. sugarfy them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, did you just say cornflakes sucks? Yes. It's terrible. Why? It's nothing. It's just the scraps of Frosted Flakes. Do you believe this? But it's guy? corn. It's it, like a vegetable. Remember? Yeah, I know, but I mean, it doesn't have any sugar on it. Well, you put your own damn uh, sugar yeah. on it. <laughs> you, that's why you have your frosted flakes milk. Yeah, yeah that's exactly okay, that's right. True. So we've 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 come full circle on yes. that. It really has. Are we nominating frosted flakes? Um, though? 
I think it just got the name value, Alyssa. What are you thinking? Like I said, overhyped. I don't think it deserves to be on the on the Mount Rushmore. And you've I made see. a new enemy in Tony the Tiger, apparently. I'm today so sorry. As well. Like Tony, like let's talk about it, Tony. Yeah. Like let's you know work it out. Let's figure out. <laughs> Put aside our our differences. Yeah, it's true. There's there's many differences here. All right, so we'll we'll pass on that one. I got one. Okay, good. Apple Jacks. Ooh. We eat what we like. I love that stuff. Kellogg's Apple Jack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. We eat what we like. <laughs> I love it because. <sighs> Apple is something they don't seem to go into with the rest of the cereals. It seems to have its own unique edge, Apple Jacks. That's a good point. It doesn't really taste apple-y, though, does it? I think it does. I don't think so. It's got like a cheerios look to it, well, but it's, it's thicker. It feels like it's another cereal. But it, yeah, it, it, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, that's what I'm thinking of, yeah. yeah. It's it, it's like Fruit Loops' cousin, but it's it's the cool cousin because it's like totally unique. Yeah. Who's doing apple? Nobody does apple. <laughs> Who's doing Apple? Who's doing Apple? Other than nice. Apple, the, the computer company. And, and the music company. And, and, and the Beatles publisher yeah. or whatever. But yeah. anyway, yeah, it's a great cereal. It tastes good. It does a good thing to the milk. It doesn't get too soggy. Mm, MVF I, factor? Uh, yeah. It's 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 kind of got it's kind of well rounded, I would say. That's a, and literally is round. So yes. That works. <laughs> Perfect. Well. Hmm. See, I feel like that's that's Applejack's coasts under the radar because I think it's effortlessly cool. Like it doesn't yeah. need you to acknowledge it they just because put, it knows right. that it's cool. They just put an apple and a piece of cinnamon on the box. Like they don't. Yeah. There's no friends there. Yeah, like, there's like, no mascot. Right? No mascots. Well, no, it's hype the it. two of them, or at least it was. It's Apple and Jacks. They were like anthropomorphic oh, yeah. apple and cinnamon stick. But they're not there anymore. Now they just put a real apple and a real piece of cinnamon on there. A real there. Jack. Yeah, a real Jack. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> They're just like, there's our wonder, you know, yeah. like <laughs> this where's is, the creativity gone? That's a good point. I don't think you need it with Apple Jacks because they took that away in like the late 90s. You're very authoritative about this. I just I feel very strong about Apple Jacks. Well, I was going to say I feel very strong about the uh, apparently less cool cousin Fruit Loops, if yes. you will. Mm. Mm. That is probably a bigger classic. Kellogg's Fruit Loops cereal with natural fruit flavors, orange, lemon, cherry and lots of vitamin C. It's got all the same properties of Apple Jacks in terms of the milk variation factor. Mm-hmm. The sogginess holds up. It does pretty well. You leave it a little too long. Again, you're dealing with some serious porridge over yes. here. But overall, I'd say that the Fruit Loops are iconic. Yeah. Two can, Sam. There you go. Now that's a mascot. Oh, yeah. You're right. And who doesn't wow. like Fruit Loops? I mean, maybe someone out there. Write into us, folks, if you don't like the Fruit Loops at AWM Podcast here. Join our group. But- now, is Fruit Loops the one? And Alyssa, maybe you could tell me this. Is Fruit Loops the one where they got rid of the loops and they just made them like nuggets or something? No. What, what am that I thinking of? was tricks. 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 They got rid of the fruit shapes and yep. they just made them like little orbs. Is that like a mistake at the factory factor, <laughs> like a storyline on the back of the box that they're putting? Like an oops, all berries situation? Yes, yeah. exactly. Or like how like fruit roll-ups, they'd always like something would go wrong. <laughs> You know? Yeah, we got to sell it to you now, yeah. kids. Yeah, that's a really good question. I don't know if there's like a shoot reason behind it. Yeah. Uh, I always just assumed it was like maybe they couldn't get like. <laughs> since I know nothing about manufacturing cereal. I'm like <laughs> the molds for making yeah. them, like well, pressing. The- you're right. I don't though. think that's how that works. <laughs> it's extruded, I think, or at least it's uh, it's molded somehow. Yeah, I, we'll I, look I, into it. Where's Mark I, Summers when you need him? Yeah. It almost feels like they got like sued for copyright infringement by like some musician well, or something. And that's like <laughs> some l- roundabout what musician story. musician is making fruit shaped cereal? I don't know. I'm if just anything, ma- I think like Runtz had a problem with them or something. There you go. Runtz, yeah. Somebody. But the thing is about tricks, a little fun fact for you, because obviously we are here not only to entertain, but to educate, mm-hmm. clearly. Um, <laughs> so, uh, tricks is actually a spinoff of kicks. And Kix is the orbs. Yeah. And initially, before the fruit flavors, up until 1991, you see I'm doing this with no notes, by the way. I just know this. You because remember I'm, this, don't I'm you? I'm that cool. Yeah. It's important knowledge. It is. Uh, so we were coming of age. Uh, Alyssa's a little bit younger than we are. We won't give that away. But uh, <laughs> we were coming of age when they switched to the fruit shape. So we only remember it as the fruit shape. So it was 91. Yeah. I, I was yeah. like appalled when they got rid of the fruit shape. Was, Did you write a letter? To your I assemblyman pissed. or your freeholder? Well, I just thought they cheaped out, like, what, to what be quite free, honest. What does a freeholder do anyway? It's just some what other politician. Freeze. <laughs> yeah. Hold freeze. Well, yeah, ice and stuff. Seems like it's related to the colonies or something. I don't know. But <laughs> Any, anyway here, obviously, we're, we're still totally on the rails on this show. Mm-hmm. Everything's totally. fine, folks. Tricks, though, now that we bring it up, 
good cereal, no? Yep. I mean, it's Very for kids. Good. It's for, for kids. kids. Silly They'd rabbit. They'd always torture that damn rabbit. I feel bad for that rabbit, man. It's the rabbit! <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. What? Did you guys ever try the yogurt version of tricks? Yeah. Great. Because that was pretty dope, Yeah, too. It, was, it was pretty good. They're great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so... We got a lot of stuff on the table here, on the breakfast table, if you will. Yep. I'm going to run them down for the folks just yep. so they know where it's we're at. getting a little cluttered. It's getting a little cluttered. We got to clear some plates here. So on the on Rushmore already is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but we got Golden Grahams, Corn Pops. I want to get rid of Corn You're Pops. You're so mad about Corn Alyssa? Pops. Alyssa? It's a great cereal. I don't know. I just feel like it's so unique in, ex- in its texture. I don't want to say goodbye to it just yet because okay. there's okay. nothing like it yeah. texture-wise. Okay. Frosted Flakes. Are we dumping that one or are we keeping Everyone that? seems angry with Tony, so I think <laughs> he's out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> People have issues with him. What are you thinking? I would say I'm cool putting the kibosh on Frosted Flakes. Are we kiboshing? Yeah, get him out of let's here. Let's put the kibosh. Okay, so let's get rid of Frosted Flakes. We got Fruity Pebbles. I'm still cool with, but mm-hmm. Snack Factor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you're the right. Droppings. <laughs> the, yeah, the, 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 the droppings. Yeah, the droppings. The pebbles droppings. The drippings. And, and that also disqualifies the, the Cocoa Pebbles, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good point. Yeah, yeah. so they're not getting... Hmm. Mm. Uh, we got Apple Jacks and Fruit Loops, which are almost the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. The one significantly more apple-y in its taste. You're really an advocate for the Apple Jacks, huh? Apple, I do. it's a cool cereal. It's for it really cool, is. Like the it's colors, cool like the like the green with like the little like yeah. orangey red dots on it. Well, that's it's a like, good point. Oh, it's cool. It's kind of got a Christmas thing going, but all year. What? Like, you know? <laughs> yes, just <laughs> exactly. You stole the words from me. Yeah, that's exactly what everyone was thinking, <laughs> wow. right? Yeah. Uh, but what it about is. what about the loops, man? The loops. I mean, tricks. Are they too commercial, too mainstream? Is that what it is? No. I, I think we can keep them like on the side for the like final deliberations. All right. Like maybe maybe they'll duke it out or something. Is Trix a contender? Or are we dumping Trix? Oh wow. I feel like tr- Trix I feel like always tells a story, you know? Because yeah. you have the Trix rabbit. <laughs> like it's it's truly like the, the hero's journey. Like yes. all this rabbit wants is the ding dang Trix. Yeah, yes. that's a good point. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, but Toucan Sam has his own stories. He's not very interesting, though, is he? His stories stink, but (laughs) he tries, right? I remember there was always stuff on the back of the box for that while I was eating it. Oh, we're not even considering cereal box experiences. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The CBX, if you will. CBX, CBX, dang it. The MVS, the CBX. (laughs) Got a lot of acronyms here. (laughs) I'm losing track of the A lot of acronyms on AWM. Yeah, go ahead, Alyssa. Okay, I'm feeling like we've gone into like the fruity flavors category. Yes. And I feel like there should really only be one fruity representation, flavor-wise. Okay. Fair enough. I like that. So, Fair enough. I, yeah. So I feel like as we're paring things down, like well, maybe it's good to. Hmm. I think I need to nominate one if we're going to make a decision on fruit. Okay. All right. Let's go. Captain Crunch with the Crunch Berries. Uh, nobody. <laughs> no, no, you no. didn't sell okay. that very well. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> nobody. Because nobody reacted. Everyone's... Well, because you didn't sell it. Captain okay. Crunch. Uh. Okay, Captain with Crunch, the right? Crunch berries? Uh. <laughs> eh? Eh? No. But seriously, like, first of all, Captain Crunch on its own is a fabulous cereal. But yeah. can just here. We can nominate the whole Captain Crunch uh Navy, right? Yeah. Okay. The whole, yeah, the, 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 wow, fleet? the whole the fleet. Yeah, yeah. the whole Ramada. The yeah. whole Let's regime. Go. First of all, I can't even describe to you what a Captain Crunch tastes like. I can't never figure it out when I was a kid. I was like, what is this supposed to be? That's a good point, like, actually. It looks like some weird, I don't they call it a munchie or something. What does he call it? Munchie. What does he call those little yellow things? What, what are those supposed to be? Cereal. It's called <laughs> cereal. I know, but they, they, you know, all of them are like, I'm a loop, I'm a piece of fruit, you know? I don't know. I'm a pebble. I've yeah. lost, you've lost me. I'm saying every cereal like, oh, describes loop, like, what oh, each piece okay, is or whatever. Piece but, I, but Captain Crunch was super weird because it's a he's like it's just a, a captain. Why not boats? Or I never could figure out why they didn't make a shape for Dingies. it. But yeah. Oh, well, like maybe rafts. Oh. No, I know what they're supposed to be. I just figured it out all what? these years later. What is it? Right now. The little floaties you put on your arm. They're swimmies. <gasps> they're swimmies. Whoa. Maybe that's what they're supposed to be. Captain Crunch just sells the kids the swimmies. Are they little swimmies? It could be. It's possible. <laughs> wow. I never really considered what the actual shape was. Yeah, it always bothers. Yeah, they do seem like they're pillowy. Yes. Like if they yeah. if you squeeze them, they would if they were a real this thing was, and not a cereal <laughs> piece. I wanted to bring this up because it was always a factor that lowered Captain Crunch on my like choice tier because I was like, the shape, what is that? I don't mm-hmm. know what that is. Really? You were concerned about the I was geometrical very, aspects. Very much. But anyway, it tastes so good, right? But then you mix the crunch berries in. 
You, you yeah. can put the crunch be- or the peanut butter. Uh, yeah, there's so many variations. Yeah. Captain Crunch is like the Burger King or something. Like they don't give a crap about like messing around with the formula. <laughs> Like, throw a little of this, yeah. explosion yeah. at the factory, I don't ho- know. You want a yeah. Halloween Captain Crunch, you asshole? The sh- Fine, The you know? ship crash landed on an island with Toucan Sam, and now we got tricks in it or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, whatever. But, like, <laughs> it's always something with Captain Crunch, right? <laughs> yes, it's always Keeps something. Keeps things interesting. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Is it, is, it a, is it a contender? I think the whole umbrella should be. The whole umbrella. I think so. Yeah, the whole cereal regime and what's so interesting about that is that it's not only is it the fruit but it's the sweet it's kind of got both because you can and it's got say peanut butter. only captain crunch you can say yeah you can say peanut and butter i think there. they're made of corn which is like a vegetable so it's like yeah. a vegetable also if i may throw in i feel like one of the most hardcore cereals to eat because it's 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 a violent cereal oh no like if you don't properly saturate that with your mvf <laughs> you're gonna get your entire <laughs> mouth torn up and i feel like that kind of um that establishes your your character, I think, as okay. a cereal eater. <laughs> that's you really yes. think that that's that's a good thing. I not necessarily, <laughs> but I I think that it's uh, it's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's badass, right? Yeah, I mean, you're on the high seas eating this stuff. I mean, yeah. what a unique character the captain is, right? When, I don't know. Is, really. it, is it? You know what? What my like? I don't know if this is like a Mandela effect or something because I'm not looking at a Captain Crunch, but I always think his eyes are looking through the hat, like that it's pulled over. Does anyone? That's ever, that's because he. Oh. That's yeah. because he does meth. Okay. Oh, you, thank you, thank you for clarifying. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. Um, so, Horatio, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll we'll keep him we'll keep him on the thing. Yeah. All right. So, are we knocking anything? Are we putting anything else on? Do we have any sure fires here out of the all this stuff on the table? Well, we wanted to we wanted to pick a fruit one. That was yeah. our original goal, and then t- Captain there, Crunch got pulled in. Are there? Well, you pulled him in. Are there any? It's important. <laughs> are there any other fruit ones, Alyssa? No, I feel like I feel like we've discussed the top fruit contenders. Fruity, mm-hmm. fruity pebbles. Yeah. Fruit Loops. Apple yeah. Jacks. Yeah. Tricks. Is Raisin Bran a fruit? No. That's some healthy stuff, Joe. Yeah. It should also have a healthy category, maybe. Th- that's a good point. I don't know. Yeah, Do that, we need to? No. I mean, it, we make the rules around here. Some people it. might get mad about that because their moms were like, you know, hey, well, like, you're, you're not having any of that sugar good. crap. <laughs> you know, well, we're sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, if we're going into the fruit category, I, I don't know, man. I guess it's either either Apple Jacks or um, uh, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Yeah. Alyssa, I, I feel like if it's if it's coming down to it, I would actually say Fruit Loops because they mm, encompass yeah. more of the fruit spectrum yeah yes and just apple the more fruit, versatile the fruit zeitgeist yeah. if you will yes A versatile yes. fruit yes. okay fruit fruit yeah uh fruit. so we're, <laughs> we're gonna put it on okay okay I think so we can do it tony the tiger let's hear it for number two this is fruit loops they're great all right. Like how he's just like, we, we push him out, but he's going to have to, he's like a, a jerk. Like he needs to, to be involved. You yeah. Know? He like, still gets to have his voice heard. <laughs> These cereals are better than me. <laughs> like, it's like, basically. <laughs> oh, Quinn bringing the funny. Well, it's about break time right here. We've got two cereals on the board in the Mount Rushmore of cereal. Two more remain to be put on. We will be doing this very shortly. But first, after these messages, we'll be right back. Okay, you got your crunch berry part of a balanced breakfast, but Soggies just don't cut it. Try this, Miss Horn, my math teacher. This is why I hate math. Only she's 80 feet tall. Yikes! Mm. Nice try, but nothing's too big for my crunch berry. Uh, of course, Miss Horn was close. Oh. Hey guys, can you turn it down? You know, I tried some of those Apple Jacks the other day. They didn't taste like apple. That's the coolest part of all. Why? Dad, you don't get it, do you? I guess I don't. He's old. Kellogg's Apple Jack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. We eat what we like. Opening everywhere. Frosted Cheerios! I've never seen anything like this. Such a sweet and crunchy part of this complete breakfast, this box never closes. Stupendous! There's no need to fear. Frosted Cheerios is here. Now those awesome little O's have been frosted the whole way around for a delicious, crunchy, sweet taste everyone's into. Well, duh, of course it's delicious. Frosted Cheerios taste so good, this box never closes. This is way too good for adults. 
And now we return to more Acid Washed Memories. And welcome back to Acid Wash Memories. This is episode number nine. We are talking cereal. We are doing the Mount Rushmore of cereal. Of course, Joe Murata along with Michael Quinn and our special guest, Alyssa Marino. It's time to get back to the Rushmore. So we've got two on the board. We got cinnamon, toast, crunch. No yes. no regrets there. Oh, no. And perhaps maybe controversially for some of you Apple Jacks defenders or fruity pebble, you know, appreciators, mm-hmm. Fruit Loops. So we got two more that we got to get here on Mount Rushmore. Now, we got Golden Grams. Yes. We got Corn Pops. We got Fruity Pebbles. We got Apple Jack still. I mean, we didn't. it's not yeah. gone unless we're it's saying true. it's gone. No. True. Okay. What else do we want to introduce? Alyssa, you got anything else that comes uh, to mind? Did you say Captain Crunch? Yeah. Because I feel like so, Captain sorry, Crunch yeah. is definitely still a contender. Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, oh, he's in there. Okay. All right. I'm going to throw one out because I feel like there's also the tier of sort of fun gimmicky cereals that are based off of other things. Ooh. And I'm going to throw out Reese's Puffs. Oh! oh. I said, candy for breakfast? Paul says, where have you been? Reese's Reese- Pieces? No, not Pieces. Pieces? <laughs> Reese's Pieces? <laughs> Reese's I'm- Puffs, man. Yeah, those things. What's your, um, what's your rationale there, Alyssa? All right, so my rationale is you, I feel like you have something that appeals to the real candy fans. So the people that want to feel like they're cheating the system by mm-hmm. having candy for breakfast. Right. More more maybe mainstream appeal. Chocolate and peanut butter is bomb. Like it's a great combination. Yeah. You got the name brand. You know, yeah. you have the branding of branding. Uh, Reese's itself. Yep. Iconic. Top-tier. As an entity. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, I do feel the as though have a really for a puff shape have a really and we don't have a puff on the mount yet. There is oh, no puff. There's no puffs. There are no it's puffs. Very important. Uh, very satisfying puff. It's yeah. not a gritty puff. It's like sort of soft when you get to it. It's a. It gets a little um a little malleable. It's it's quite enjoyable. Ooh, so, a malleable yes. puff. I'll say this. A malleable puff. I consider Reese's Pieces whatever Stop we call saying it. Reese's that. Puffs <laughs> influential cereal. Influential. influential because when i was a kid i remember when that came out mm-hmm. and that was the first i remember where a serious candy brand said we're just gonna make a cereal that's like, a good point i remember when that came out and then all of a sudden there was oreo yeah. cereal yeah. and all this nonsense afterwards <laughs> but reese's really like got the ball rolling on that a trailblazer yeah because i mean you know yeah. you had two can sam and them they're like hey don't get in our cereal market and it his was stories like, suck oh. yeah <laughs> It was, it was kind of like exclusive, you know? <laughs> right. You had to have background story and stuff. You couldn't just be a candy and get in. <laughs> yeah, there was no wow. Hershey Kiss yeah. cereal. And not to, me- not to mention, I mean, like all the other cereals are like part of a complete breakfast. It's so healthy, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Reese's like, F that. Like this, <laughs> this is just straight up candy. We ain't lying to you no more. Yeah. Like it's like, you know what I mean? They're unapologetically themselves and yes, they embrace that. They yeah. really are. That's They're a, like, we're not lying to you. <laughs> There's no mascot. This is just straight up unhealthy. You ever like, heard of our candy? Yeah. Here it is in cereal form. <laughs> yeah, Tell your parents. We've just made it so it doesn't suck in milk, <laughs> like, basically. Well, that's true. It does well in milk. So, I mean, sure. imagine they just put a box of just Reese's peanut butter cups and they're like, put it in milk. Oh, my God. Imagine if they did that. That'd be, I would try it. That'd be great. <laughs> it would just, just turn to like liquid. How good would that be? It would be good. I would, I would try it. So yeah. Reese's pup. Reese, now you got me saying Reese's. Uh, well, we, Reese, when, we were, when I was a kid, we called it Reese's Pieces well, you were wrong. for some reason. Um, <laughs> so Reese's Puffs. All right. that's right. I'm, I'm liking that one. Michael, you got anything over there? Is it Smacks? I always mess this one up. Yeah, it's Smacks. Those are also in a foil bag, I thought. Golden Bear. What's his name? I don't golden know. Crisp. Sugar Bear. Golden Sugar Bear. Crisp. Oh, Golden, golden Crisp. Golden Crisp. Which one's Golden Crisp now? Now, that's got Golden Bear. Um, He just has a Sugar tea. Bear. Sh- <laughs> no, Golden Bear. Which one are we talking about? It's real. About? What cereal? Golden, golden Graham or Smacks? No, it's got- Golden it's, Crisp? It's, it's Golden Crisp, I think it is. Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear. It's on the box. His shirt says Sugar Bear. Quinn. I thought it's- No, it doesn't. Is that real? <laughs> yes, I'm looking at it right now. Get out here. Here, I'll put it on, on the screen you can see. I'm look. looking at him right Michael, now. Michael, That's look. not the bear I remember. Well, it's the wrong cereal. It was more generic, <laughs> but anyway, Golden Crisp. I love this cereal, and I don't know what it is. It's a lot like Golden Graham. It's post. No, it's a lot like Smacks. The reason I'm nominating it is Do you not- know what cereal you're talking about? Smacks. Sorry, it's a lot like Smacks. Yes. Golden okay. Crisp. I'm just making sure that we're on the same page. Here. Well, the re- it's funny it's that important. we're putting all this confusions here in the first place is because this is like a competitor cereal, right? To Smacks, yes, yes. But 
I think that whatever the hell this crap is made out of, <laughs> it goes excellent in milk. Like, it is one of the all-time greats in milk. Is it better than Honey Smacks, though? It's better. Trust me. Alyssa? It's, it's better. I would agree. It's This is the one that kind of looks like a little scallop shell. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Okay. Exactly. I always would get Honey Smacks, though, because I like Dig em the Frog. Uh, dig em? Dig em the Frog? Dig them. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Mm. I uh, I was a big fan of, of the mascots. The mascot always won me over. Really? Um, so I don't feel like I can adequately judge. To me, they both kind of, in retrospect, taste like burnt sugar. <laughs> they it's do. Not, it's not a bad thing. Is that a puffed... <laughs> no, it's not a bad yeah, it's thing. It's not a bad thing. I'm to mark against it now. What is that? A puffed rice cereal covered in, in uh, honey and be, sugar? Yeah, or a puffed wheat or something? It's like a puffed grain of yeah. some kind. Yeah. We don't have a puffed grain. We have a puff. We have the Reese's Puff, but that's like corn which this is like a vegetable stuff has a lot like this stuff has so much whatever it sugar. is Sh- sugar yeah but it's like msg pieces of it or something you know how at the bottom it's just like a bottom of this cereal specifically just has like tons of it it like, does it, yeah it, it's just down there i don't and i just love this stuff I, I don't know if i'm comfortable putting a cereal like this on there <laughs> was, what is this is this a post bias or no, something what, you got an issue with that? i don't like sm- <laughs> no problem with post i'm just saying i don't this and smacks the foil bag, it's like, what kind of cyanide are they hiding in this thing that it needs to come in a foil bag? What are we doing here? It Alyssa? did have a salmonella scare. <laughs> did well, it? Well, that's a not a point. It's ago. fair. See? Well, that never affected me. <laughs> I think me. Smacks. Honey Smacks. Did honey they? Smacks. They like pulled it off the shelves for like a, yeah. a good while. Jeez. <laughs> I don't think anyone missed it. The Honey Smacks, incidentally, another one of those cere- cereals originally known as Sugar Smacks in the yeah. 60s. And they should have until- just kept it that way. <laughs> it's what it is. It's accurate. Like, why lie? Be yeah. like Reese's Puffs. Right. Be real. We are candy. Again, because in the bum, 90s, bum, 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 they were bum. like, hey, this is part of a complete breakfast now, so yeah. we're, we're serious over We've here. decided what a complete breakfast is, and yeah. this is part of it, yeah. <laughs> whether you like it or not. I just like that my favorite aspect of the part of a complete breakfast is the fact that it's part of a complete breakfast, yeah, but it's not all most people just <laughs> not all only ate it for breakfast. Of course. Yeah. Uh, can, we, can we get real here and talk about Cinnamon Life? Cinnamon oh, Life. Oh, wow. What do you mean? What do you, cinnamon Life. You never had Cinnamon Life? You mean Clint? not Life? Like Cinnamon, cinnamon life? life? Cinnamon Life. Okay, let's talk about it. It's really friggin' delicious. Even regular Life is really good. But Cinnamon, whole other level when you involve the cinnamon in most things. You mm-hmm. know, as, as usual, Cinnamon is a great accomplice to good taste. Yes. And in this case, it was, uh, it took a Life cereal, which, you know, hey, Mikey, he likes it, remember? That's true. And you like it, Mikey, right? You like Life? Yeah. Okay. He likes it. Hey, it's a little bit better than like frosted mini wheats, but not by you much. I think it's better than frosted mini wheats. I was going to nominate them also later. Please don't. It, what, what, like if what? we were if we were to do the worst, I would have put that right in. Alyssa, frosted oh, mini wheats. I'm a big frosted mini wheats fan. Me too. Especially because now they put faces on them, so no. I like yeah. that. That's <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> nice. But that does not hide the fact that that is by far oh. the worst oh. milk cereal no. I have ever encountered. No. It the just milk turns so much better. It exactly. turns to mush. No way. Like just ah. no, it's garbage. Oh, you're crazy. Uh, oh. oh. Well, thank you for joining us on Acid Wash Memories. We'll be back <laughs> next think, week. Here. I didn't think this was a controversial opinion. Every time I'd always eat it like dry, and then I would get so mad when I put it in milk. I'd be like, why is this garbage? What? Oh my gosh. Like, it's delicious. I, I feel like the frosting kind of melts off and it and it kind of like congeals into the into the shred. Absolutely. Wheat. It's so enjoyable of an experience. One hundred percent. I agree I with to, you. I, you know, you're almost making me want to like re-encounter yeah, this in my life because I went you out yeah. of my way to avoid it because I did try it multiple times as a kid and every time I was very disappointed. Oh my god. I was going to say that was one of the best ones for us to many weeks it's without amazing. question. Mm. Uh, but Quinn, apparently you like Cinnamon Life slightly more. Yes, than- <laughs> definitely okay. better. Alyssa, you seem a little, you know, un- hesitant here about I, life. I feel like I could take it or leave it mm. to be quite frank. But I do feel like it is something that's under like the sort of healthy ish. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. So like maybe it's good to have something similar, but like it doesn't it doesn't like blow me away. Okay, fair enough. That's mm-hmm. okay. That's fair. Quinn, you got anything else? Alyssa, you got anything else? Yeah. There's more. There's more. There, there is more. There's, There's thousands more. of them out there. I-, I do feel like I had another thought returning to Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. Oh yeah, please. Is that I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Sh- like first of all it's iconic uh-huh. yeah great mascot yep 
recently, I think I've done a lot more even with social media to like stay hyped up, stay relevant. But I think we can't overlook the fact that they have not one, but two different piece shapes to oh, work with. Yes, good point. And we would have the puffs and the floaties, the yeah, floaty the, the shapes. Floaties, guys. The floaties, yeah. <sighs> We got I mean, a little variation there. I mean, what's what's their heads over there? Tricks or whoever used to have multiples. Like I always mix them up. What did I say again? Tricks. It, the one where they they switch to the puffs or whatever. Yeah, they, they used to have pissed. all different shapes. Yeah, never got pissed when they did yeah, the puffs. Yeah, but like, yeah, it would have been. You're right. It, now Captain Crunch is a unique one because they got two. Well, Captain Crunch, I think he has a he has a bit of an empire. Here yeah, because he's got the he's regular, true. but he's got the berries, the crunch yeah. berries. He's got the peanut butter. Yep. There's all different varieties. I've got a unique no- seasonal variety. Unique That's seasonal. True. Yep. Columbus got- Day, Captain Crunch. I've got a nomination that Shipped I think like we, Mint, we've forgotten. Santa Maria. What? They're, they're, they're a, a whole, please step on my bad joke. A whole breadth of cereals is the marshmallow style cereals, the ones that. Oh, well. Uh, and Lucky what a, Charms? Lucky Charms, yes. Lucky Charms. And now, has Lucky Charms. I'm not a kid anymore, so I'm not eating it all the time, but did, have they downgraded their shapes too? Because, I mean, they were crazy. Like, every <laughs> marshmallow was completely different. Yeah. Like, it, that, that was insane over there. Heart stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of golden rainbows, and me red balloons. I do feel like they have slacked on the marshmallow shape quality. Yeah. Ooh. But they do still, <laughs> they try their darndest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the MSQ, exactly. Yeah. The MSQ. The factor. MSQ, yes. Um, See, to me, and, and this might just be my personal bias, most marshmallow cereals, to me, if they're not in milk, they are almost inedible because they remind me of <gasps> biting into chalk. No Ooh. way. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, that's just them. my personal opinion. I used to eat those dry. The marshmallows are fantastic. Well, the steel cage dry. is being put up as we oh, speak here. Right, for right, this right. Battle. Sorry. Yes, Jeez. yes. <laughs> no, I, I have to disagree on that one. But. I've eaten them both dry and wet. I like it better wet, but I will say... And maybe I'm the only one, but I, I I would be surprised. I used to eat all the cereal pieces, only the cereal, save all the marshmallows for the end, like a psychotic. And I don't know if I'm the I only one. I don't think one, you're but... alone with that. Okay, good. I want to hear no. from everyone. They because... sell just the marshmallows. Yeah, Like you can just buy yeah. a big giant bag of, they knew. They knew. They they definitely freaking knew. Um, Lucky Charms is good though. I like keeping that on the table. Yeah, keep Lucky Charms on the table. Michael's got something cooking um, though, I, I can tell. Does anybody remember the Rice Krispie Treat cereal? The treats oh version. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did they still make that? The, right? no. the, the treats now. Oh. So the closest they came was actually they did. I feel like such a well, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is that's what, uh, that's what you're here for. You're the expert. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Rice Krispies clusters. It's Ooh. not exactly. But it's close, and I feel like it might have been limited edition. I don't know if you could still find it on shelves, but that was a delight. I'm That's- looking. I'm looking at the picture of this box, the Rice Krispie Treats box. Oh. Um, remember, it was like what a teal, classic. Yeah, what a and classic. It was like to, yeah. to make it like it's slightly different than Rice Krispies. You know? Yeah. yeah. What a great idea for a cereal. How did they discontinue this? It's insane. Well, probably because it's not healthy. I don't care. Well, none I don't of this either, stuff but... is healthy. Like, <laughs> none of it's and healthy. And yet, Tony the Tiger walks free. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I what kind of world do we live he in? He put himself in that sports cocoon, <laughs> and then like <laughs> just n- nobody bothers him. It's, he was protected. It's total bull crap. <laughs> it's, your language, Quinn. <laughs> excuse me. So yeah. Okay, so, so are you nominating that Quinn? I'm definitely just... nominating. Are you kidding me? Excuse that, me. That was like a. But it doesn't have longevity factor. You can't even get it anymore. That's exactly my point. But I mean, that doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it bad. You could be an old timer and you, be on this list. You could be an old timer and not be made anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Are we missing anything like really obvious that people are going to get upset? Like Cocoa Puffs are basically like Reese's Puffs, right? But Reese's flavored their mm-hmm. own puffs, right. right? But it's the same thing, but we're going with Reese's on that. I mean, we I think... On I feel Christie's. like some people would argue Chris. like kicks or something weird kicks like that. Kicks is okay, but I don't think it's an all-timer. It's, yeah, it's not an all-timer. What about me. like Honeycomb? Eh. Remember mm. Honeycomb? It turned children into little monsters. Is there it's a story awesome. to that? Is it, what, it's what? all the commercials, right? Not true, Quinn. Well, you never she doesn't know. mean in real life. Uh, uh, there's urban legends. <laughs> I, I, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was they were it was the little uh, it looked like a big giant fur ball. Um was the mascot and then when kids ate it, they would turn into giant fur balls as oh, well. Oh, I remember that now. Yeah. Didn't that under the weird. giant do commercial for that? Like, <laughs> big giant high or whatever. <laughs> they Where's dub- Le Cereal? Where's Le Cereal? Hungry for a big honey taste. And they dubbed his voice cuz he 
Because he sounds like that. Because you can't understand him. <laughs> um, oh, we're missing one. I know. I know the one. We talked about the Reese's Puffs that was just blatant, like you know, we're candy. What about Cookie Crisp? Thank oh, you. that one was Cookie mm. Crisp. Yeah, coo- we're cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I wasn't even allowed to get that one was like a line too far for some freaking reason. I don't know why we like, have we have to talk about that. I mean, like, cookie crisp for crying out loud. I mean, they were in it before even Oreo got involved. 77. Ooh. They started. Yeah. 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 I, I remember that being around all through my childhood, like before I was born, you know, Yeah. and that that stuff. I thought that was a weird cereal as a kid because cookie I thought crisp? the pieces were gigantic. They're huge. I was yeah. like, it's how cookies. are you supposed to eat this? Like, it's like really weird. Like, he was like, I'm going to break my mouth now eating this cereal. So you complained about it? I didn't, but I never got it that often because of that okay. reason. Just double check. To me, there. it was more just like something you kept as a snack. Well, Cookie Crisp, mm-hmm. by the way, I think the biggest thing to talk about with that, we'd be remiss, obviously, if we didn't, is remember when the dog turned face? Yes. Because remember the dog? Yeah. He was a big heel, like in the early 90s <laughs> yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. They were with- like, you asshole. Like, they'd like chase him around and treat him like an asshole. With and the then, cookie like, crook. Yeah, the cookie crook. Yes. Yeah. It was Chip, I think, was the Chip dog. Chip the dog, yeah. yeah. And then he yeah. turned face. Like, he took the mask off and he's like, hi, I'm nice. You want, want my cereal? To me, that was like a betrayal of the character. <laughs> what? I thought it was heartwarming. No, I hate when there, there's like, listen, there's a, there's, you are this. And like, that's what it was. Why? I'm sorry. Why does it upset you? Because they're, they're char- they, I, it's all part they're, of his story arc. They know? look a certain way on the box, and it's just the way he it is. He had a change of heart, Quinn. You judge a cereal box by its cereal box? Yes. <laughs> well said, Alyssa. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm just a big fan of uh, any anthropomorphic mascots that there are. I feel like, is it a wolf now, or is it actually supposed to be a dog? Is it still Chip? It's not Chip anymore? No, I feel like now it's like a wolf with like a really long snout kind of well, that's, situation. Why are we even bothering? Oh my then? goodness, she is absolutely oh, right. God, that is, no, I gotta that look is now. Hideous. <laughs> what, what, it. what did they do? Why is it not Chip? What happened? Why is Who it a is wolf? This guy? I don't want him. <laughs> oh, no. Who's this guy? We don't want him. <laughs> we want the turtles. Are y'all? <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. He looks like Wiley e. Coyote with a different color yeah. or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Cookie Crisp nineties. Distant cousins. Where's Distant the one cousins I again. Want? Yeah. Uh, Hey, yeah, so that's that's really terrible. We were talking. <laughs> it's awful. Sorry, Quinn. Yeah. You guys look it up if you haven't yet. Uh, Honey bunches of oats have any merit here? I love that cereal. That's a it's good, pretty good, healthy it's one. Definitely in the yeah. healthy category, right? A lot of great uh, variants as well. Yeah, a lot of different flavor options. Yeah, there's fruit involved, right? Isn't there, there one is? with fruit? Yeah. Yes. So yes. We're, we're not going raisin bran. Quinn hates oh, raisin boy. bran, huh? No, I, I don't. don't I, not a big fan. I like it. What are you talking about? I thought you didn't like it. I got really excited when those uh, plumbers or whoever, they're like, they added all these raisins, like 100% more raisins. Oh, that was Post or something, or Total. Yeah, you remember or that? Them. There was like, the Raisin Wars of the early 90s. These like, these, like construction those? guys in New York, they're like, oh, there's more more raisins in here. <laughs> we got too many raisins. <laughs> we so much do fucking raisins. What are we doing with all these fucking raisins? <laughs> I don't know. Put them in the bran flakes. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> like, you're just like some construction fucking site. chaos in New yeah. York. What the hell was David Dinkins doing? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay. We got to, we have two. Yeah, we, how, how, right many, how many, how many, what does the list look like, Joe? Well, the list is, um, uh, that's still on the table. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a lot on this table. Yeah. We got to start clearing, folks. Yeah. All right. We got Golden yeah. Grams, Corn Pops. Uh, <laughs> oh, fine. You, can, you know what? Just take it off. Okay, good. I won't argue for it. Thank you. you can take Alyssa, Golden you Grams have off. Any... We, we already have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We can get rid of Golden Grams. Okay, fair okay, enough. I'll cry myself to sleep later. I'm it's sorry, fine. Alyssa. Okay. Uh, Fruity Pebbles, still hanging on, even despite their snack factor sucking. I feel like we already have the Fruit Loops, don't we? Yeah, we can ditch Fruity Pebbles, right? Okay. Captain Crunch making it. I think Captain Crunch is a I contender. feel like we keep it on. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep it on. He, he's yep. definitely in there. Reese's Puffs, love them. No longevity, though. But the influential factor, Joe. Oh, very influential. Sure. Very, the That's the good, most the, influential. The velvet underground of yeah, cereals. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Cinnamon Life. I, I know neither of you are comfortable with it, so we'll dump it. <laughs> yeah, get uh, that out of there. Sorry. <laughs> Frost, I'll be okay. I'll cry myself to sleep. Frosted okay. Mini Wheats. Quinn Ugh. hates it. I don't think we'll ever agree. And yeah, that's, that's okay. That's, we can just get rid of it. Yeah. 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 Fucking bullshit! All right, so, look, why? What? It's try hard. your homework. It's, uh, okay, I will. You yeah, have an assignment. I promise. I promise. Thank you. Mm. Lucky Charms. Mm. Ooh, that is a. I think people get mad if we don't put that in. That's a heavy one, right? Yeah, that's like a heavy hander. Yeah. 
Yeah. So many kids have so many memories with that. And I feel like there was other marshmallow cereals that I'm forgetting. There probably are. But Lucky Charms is the marshmallow cereal. It's it's yeah. the one. It had a whole song. Yeah. It, I'm yeah. sure it had a dance routine, different shape. It had storylines. Memorable. Story yeah. Memorable mascot. Yeah. The yeah. Lucky. Was that his Lucky. name? Yeah. yeah. How creative. Still active, I think. He you is know not we're retired. About? Wow. Not yeah. retired. Yeah, not like the cookie crisp dog that they just. <laughs> they All just right. Okay. Well, he went him. to live on a farm, I think, or something like that. What a bunch of I crap heard. that is, huh? Like, so are we doing the Lucky Charms? We got to have yeah. the Lucky Charms? Oh, man. Alyssa's not sure. It, it does feel like we're like a, a blog website and we're like, oh, the greatest cereals oh, of all time. That, and when do you think we, we have standards charms, around right? here? When are we I do feel feed? like we're doing it to appease like uh, yeah, it's, it's the very, greater good. Listen, I thought getting rid of Apple Jacks was appeasing people. Well, you know what? I'd be advocating for friggin' Frosted Mini Wheats if we were trying to appease or mm-hmm. weren't trying to appease. I don't I just like the cereal. All right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we don't agree on Lucky Charms. I'm indifferent, so it's up to the two of you. Yay or nay? Um, it my gut tells me that it's kind of an all timer. It's like one of those like yeah, it is. It it's like the Citizen Kane of cereals in Let's a way. Not get carried like it's away. one of those it's like not on a it Citizen has to be Kane on there level. thing. It's not like Orson Welles's Lucky <laughs> Charms. Quinn. I'm not saying that it's it, like the all time best. I'm just saying that people kind of consider it. I'm surprised you didn't say Gone with the Wind, I tear considering it. how much you love that shit. It's a great shit. movie, too. It's not. You ever it see that, Alyssa? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, probably. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Like it, but it's, it, it is. It's like, it's part of culture. It's yeah. part right. of pop culture. Like Shocking you, how many people don't like that movie to me. It's boring. It's a, it's a great story. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Same, yeah. Yeah. same I year. Know, same year. Yeah, it yeah. is much more commercially accessible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> much like Lucky Charms. Rainbow. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. oh, oh, we have to put it on now. Yeah, it's yeah, got to be there. I think, so. I think we get, do. I think we all in. agree, right? Yeah, get it I in think there. we do. All right, so for number three, making his return here, Tony the Tiger, it is Lucky Charms. They're great. There he is. All right, so to run them down, we got Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mm-hmm. We got Fruit Loops. We got Lucky Charms. We have one more space here on Mount Rushmore of one more cereals. Position. So still on the table, the Crunch, Captain Crunch. Yeah. The Reese's Puffs. We got Rice Krispie Treat cereal, which, listen, it's like a one-hit wonder. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? As good as it is. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was really good. We yeah. agree. It's like Till Tuesday or something. J- just oh, like voice that. Voices carry? Yeah. It's a great, great <laughs> band. Classic. Listen to all the all two albums, and I love them. <laughs> wow. And we got Cookie. Gems. We yeah. Got, <laughs> gems. We got Cookie Crisp mm-hmm. still on the board. Are we... I mean, Cookie Crisp, I, I'm, it's a very, box of I'm cookies. very angry at them with this, 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 this wolf thing. Wolf, like, what, yeah. get, oh. get out of here. I mean, are, um, Alyssa? I feel as though, flavor-wise, we have spicy cinnamon, yep. fruity, arguably fruity. We need some chocolate. So I feel <gasps> yeah, like okay. Okay. I'm either leaning Cookie Crisp or I'm leaning Reese's. Do we go with the company that, you know, bamboozled us with switching <laughs> up the mascot or the company that never had a mascot at all? Oh, fair. I think Reese's was very bold, plus the influence factor. Influence factor. We cannot take that away. I mean, there would be no Oreo cereal or any of that. Well, that's a good point. I don't even think Rice Krispie Treats existed until post- I mean, the cereal. Uh, Reese's, yeah. Yeah, I think Reese's Puffs yeah. were first. Like, again, influential. Are we missing something obvious, though, by not going in the Cheerio direction? Are we just... Yeah, we Cheerio, haven't, like, we just, haven't talked a, a much about this, this Cheerio factor. Now, Cheerios are a great cereal. I'm not going to, like, knock them. Yeah, I know. And, and, and Honey, Nut. Honey Nut Cheerios Honey Nut, are very yeah. good. Excellent, actually. And Frosted Cheerios. Frosted really good. Yep. And plus, they, they, they're good for your heart health. As they say. As the they cup. say, yeah. yeah. It's the most heart-healthy cereal or something. Well, do we swap out one loop for a different loop Ooh. and put a Cheerio in place of Fruit Loops? Can since we, we already have the fruitiness of Lucky Charms? I mean, it's... Yeah. I don't know, Are they, but I feel like... Ooh, is, is Rushmore done being sculpted? I mean, can we can we interrupt Are the we progress? allowed to mess with... I mean, these are these are a new Rushmore. This is no wrestling Rushmore like yeah, we always true. do. Where it's it's like, oh, it's final, or people get mad. This is our rules yeah. here. I mean, yeah. Plus, we have Alyssa Marino on with us. We're making the rules right now. This is the first <laughs> one in the Acid Wash Canon. So. Right, Acid Wash wow. Canon, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's up to you guys, because I don't want to throw a wrench in the proverbial works, but I do feel like now that we're coming down to the nitty-gritty and there's one spot left, it's like there's two... There's, there's too many options that there's I feel like we need options, to yeah. hmm. well do we okay 
Cheerios, regular Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios. Those are the two big ones, right? I mean, I know Frosted is like probably, you know, very beloved. Frosted is like the, it's like vanilla Coke. Like, no, it's never around, you know? <laughs> but the people that love it, like, love it, love yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Frosted Cheerios are really beloved. I was always a big Honey Nut Cheerio type of like guy. I do like Honey Nut. It's, and it's got, good cereal. It's a rare Cheerio with a mascot. Like, yeah. You know? A bee, yeah. Yeah, the little bee. Yeah. Wasn't he British for a while, or am I making that up? I'm thinking of the gecko. Uh, yeah, Never mind. The gecko, gecko. That, that's, that's not yeah. real. Yeah. yeah. But he had a different voice in the 90s when we were growing up, and then it changed. I do know yeah. that. Yeah, uh, he doesn't speak very often, though. Wasn't it Billy West, the voiceover guy, I think, did the B for a while? You know who that is? Buzzbee? I don't is know this, name? actually. Yeah. It's interesting. Huh. Hmm. I care about these sort of things. But anyway, it's... Honey Nut Cheerios. Yes, Michael. Honey is Nut. It, is it a... You think it's it's that high tier? Everyone thinks it's that good? No, I don't think everyone no. thinks it's that good. I think it's just a, a note. You know what? It's a notable cereal, yeah. but maybe not an all timer. Yeah, is Fair. that is that okay. kind of where we're maybe at? We're I just think that's where we're at. We're just chair. mentioning it to mention it. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah. hey, here's the. We want to give a tip, tip of the, of the cap. cap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Tip of the cap. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Is there anything else? I we think that's yeah. That's more so what I I, I want to make sure that it gets it gets heard and it gets right. seen for what it is. Recognized, but yeah, yes, exactly. It gets its due. Uh, remember the Eggo cereal? Yes, that I was do. that was a good one. Yeah, there oh, was also waffle, waffle crisp. Yeah, waffle, waffle crisp. crisp. <gasps> yep. I don't th- I don't suppose we have any fans of Crispix out there. <laughs> Crispix like Crispix. always sounded like, Crispix. like it was a video game, not a cereal. <laughs> 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 New from Atari, Crispix. Yeah. Uh, no. That and Quisp. Do yeah. you, guys, did you yeah. remember Quisp? I remember Quisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah with a Q. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Quisp. I, be, I look at that. I take one look at that at the grocery store. What? And, and then just like move I was on. Yeah. 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 It just looks chaotic. It yeah. looks like it's trying way too hard. It does. Maybe it has some relation to Qbert. I don't know. Oh, Qbert. Yeah. Be. Yeah. It's possible. Yes. Is there anything else here? I just want to make sure, because I'm sure, inevitably, folks, we're going to miss stuff, and you are going to write to us here at AWM Podcast there's on gonna, Twitter and let us gonna know. There's going to be one, and people are going to be like, you guys screwed up. And like, I will it, tag it, Alyssa it, in yeah, those tweets. Yeah. Please, then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, I want to know. This is the worst ever. <laughs> yeah. like, we're never listening to this show again. Yeah. Uh, I, I know French Toast Crunch was very popular when it was out, but I was never the biggest fan. I'm not going to lie. Eh, that's some like bandwagon. Like you think it's bandwagon? It's like oh, let's you know, we everyone's got to have like a sister cereal now. Was it the Frank yeah. Stallone of cereals? I mean, the '90s really Sorry. was a prime time for cereals. <laughs> they were getting everyone had a side cereal, yeah. and it was ridiculous. There were even so, Apple Cheerios for a while. Remember yeah. those? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though there's Apple Jacks, Cheerios is like, nope, we need apples too. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember they did a uh, team or uh, team Cheerios for yeah. the Olympics? Yeah, where it had, had all different variations. Mm-hmm. Yep. I do. Oh. yeah. Yes. Now, didn't Pop Tarts have a cereal? They might yes. have, right? Mm. But definitely, I think I feel like that was a more modern cereal. Like I remember getting that new in like 2016 or oh, 2017. Really? Well, I won't, I won't. I don't. I definitely don't feel like it was like a nostalgia cereal. Okay, I could be wrong. I will uh, say, better dry. If you're gonna, okay. Indulge. I'm looking at this Pro now. Tip and, from Melissa. Yeah, I feel like I've tried this what, once. What about Count Chocula? I mean, Mary. <gasps> oh Ooh, I like wow! That. Now we have all of the Halloween cereals. Yeah, Frankenberry, oh Booberry. Yeah. Hmm. Fruit Brute. Um, but I feel like if we're going to go with a marshmallow cereal, we pick the right one. I think Lucky you're right. Charms. I think yeah, you're right that about was that. Definitely to like, I, I think we made such a great decision there. I'm so proud of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, we're, yeah. we're working. Yeah. We pat ourselves yeah. on the back. Seriously. We're doing, great. we're doing really good here. Rice Krispies in its own right. Any merit there? Okay. That's now, a classic. Rice Krispies. I gotta say, what a unique gimmick—the the fizzing or whatever. I don't even know. What. Snap, crackle, pop. I don't, the fizzing. I'm just saying. I don't but know. But they do. They're melodic. I ha- yes, they're great. Don't, I don't, don't know what. Him. <laughs> I do not know what chemical reaction situations going there. It's probably not good for you, chemical. but it's fantastic. <laughs> I used to love it. Yeah, it's Chernobyl for your face. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. Whoa. Um, I I do feel as though uh they they have a they're time sensitive. Oh, like they are absolutely. In, There's a clock. Like, yeah, yeah. There, the clock is ticking, <laughs> and it is going to turn to liquid garbage on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> liquid garbage. I just. You don't want that. We, I don't want that, and I'm a fast eater. Like I can, I can get the job done. But I just, I don't want to feel pressured. I just want to be able to enjoy my cereal. That's but true. Yes, yes, I do agree that they are very uh, enjoyable. I agree with adventure. you. Yeah, good point. One thing I'll say, we, just to throw in some of the the, because I'm I'm looking at a cereal aisle. And I want to make sure we catch everything here. Okay, go ahead. Checks. Yeah, same thing as Chris. It's part of a mix, but it's I. I think. Yeah. I yeah. think that 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 hampers checks a lot, so I don't even want to nominate that. Um, Anything else, Michael? Wheaties. Yeah. 
Mm. We didn't discuss Wheaties. It's like in Cheerios realm. Yeah. Cheerios level yeah. with Raisin Bran. Mm-hmm. And Total. And Total. Yeah. yeah and Special There's K. There's always healthy ones like the Quaker Oats cereals and all that nonsense. Well, they had the Cinnamon Square things, yeah. like the oatmeal things. They were yeah. pretty good. Those were pretty good. But um, I... I think the captain cocoa puffs. Did we mention? We that? mentioned them, but we got we Reese's. Did. Okay, yeah. I, th- I think the captain gets it. Yeah, I think we've. I think uh, we've th- adequately covered a lot of this stuff. Alyssa's captain, demurring here. Is it the captain or is it is it um, uh, Reese's puffs? Just because of their trailblazing nature, like would we have oh. half the fun cereals we have now if Reese's puffs had not blazed Su- the way? Such a trailblazer. <laughs> you know, we forgot one more that okay. I that I'm seeing on all these cereal aisles that um we just didn't mention the yeah. s'more cereal. Does anybody remember that? That was good. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. it was good. I don't it, feel like Mount Rushmore level. I think yeah, you're right. I agree. I just I, I figured we put it in there. Um, I think it's got to be the captain, even though I mean we know the trailblazing yeah. nature of the puffs and all yeah. the Reese's puffs. I think just the captain the, yeah. is enduring. Yep, he's got variety. Sorry, one more, one more nominee. <laughs> Just in case we're hanging in suspense here, Michael. Just in case, remember Alpha Bits and like the yeah. Alpha Alphabet oh, cereals. Yeah, <laughs> good, but I, very educational cereal, Joe. <laughs> and you could spell out dirty words with yeah. them on your spoon. <laughs> yeah, not that's that you're spe- fun. Not that you're speaking from experience, yeah, obviously. Never. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, parents across the nation felt like they could buy that for their young. If I was kids. a parent. I'd be spelling out a dirty word. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look, my kid can learn how to spell while he eats breakfast. Yeah. Um, what, a, what an idea. What an idea. Trailblazer. Yes. <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I think uh, I, I got to go captain. captain. Yeah, I, I think cap- it is. You and the cab making it happen, right? <laughs> exactly, Quinn. That and like, you got to respect the man's hustle. Yes, He does not true. stop. He's like, oh, it's 4th of July? Cool. Oh, it's Halloween? Gotcha. Your milk's going to turn green. Oh, it's You're welcome. Ar- Arbor Day? Here's yeah. a tree flavor. Here you go. That guy's <laughs> always friggin' ready. I know. That captain. Yeah. And he's a captain. He's the captain, he's the captain of captain. cereal. Like, how yes. can we not yeah. put him on the list, right? That's, that's true. Doesn't he wear, like, and- general stripes, though? What? <laughs> Oh, he might. I think that there actually <laughs> that was a, a little study into that. Um, and also, really, uh, quite quite a, a spin doctor as well. Took yes. a, a, a a disaster at his factory and made it into a completely marketable cereal. Yes. You're right. You're right. This man. This, yeah, thank this, you, Horatio. This captain. And yes. a problem solver, you know, if yeah. you will. And he still, he still manages it all with a cereal that's a questionable shape that yeah. only in 2023 we have finally debunked and figured out. Is swimmies. Yes, which is why people will listen to this podcast years from now. They'll be like, oh, this will live on. It'll be quoted on Wikipedia. Congress is calling right now. Bing search. Yes, Yes. Bing search. Bing Bing chatbot. (laughs) (laughs) Well, with that said, I think we're all in agreement here for number four, the last one on Rushmore, the Captain Crunch Empire. They're great. All right. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Thanks. You're not on the list. (laughs) To recap for Donnie. Of course. Uh, the Mount Rushmore. Still doing that. Still doing that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Mount Rushmore of cereals. We've got Cinnamon Toast Crunch, mm-hmm. Fruit Loops, perhaps controversial, Lucky Charms, and Captain Crunch. That's a Mount Rushmore of cereals, folks. Let us know yours at AWM Podcast on Twitter. You can join our Facebook group. And again, I will forward uh, any controversial tweets to Alyssa Marino. So yes. handle that for you. Prepared to answer the questions. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. Yep. So, Alyssa, really, it's been great having you on here. This has been so much fun. Yeah, fantastic. I'm this be- was really a blast. Thank you guys so much. Of course. I'm being serial when I say that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You better be serial. <laughs> Ain't no other way to be. Alyssa, where can people find you if they want to? Uh, I am at AYY underscore Marino on all the socials. I'm not super active on TikTok, but you can find me there under the same name as well. So, uh, yeah. All right. Tune in. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being our announcer, by the Mm, way, as well. You're going to be on the show forever. Yeah, you're going to be on the show forever anyway. So (laughs) Appreciate that. Thank Thank you so much. This is a blast. Thank you so much. Glad you had fun. And uh, we will hopefully have you back another time. Maybe the Death Valley of cereals. Maybe Maybe. one day we'll do the four worst. One day. And we're going to fight it out about grape nuts. I'm telling you, Alyssa. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) But uh, thank you so much. And we will hopefully see you again soon. Definitely. Thank Thank you. you. Yep. Well, Quinn, I mean, listen, I know people might not agree. Mm-hmm. with all of these picks. They may not. They may not. And we understand that, folks. I mean, believe it or not, this isn't that cereal. 
Ah, sorry. See what you did there. I'll stop doing that. But really, we just hope you had fun, and we thank Alyssa obviously again for being on with us. Yeah, she was thank great. you so much. That yeah. was that was fantastic. It really was, and we hope you guys enjoyed this one. And again, let us know your top four cereals if you have top four. You can do that again on Twitter at awm podcast, and you can also join our group. It's a free group. It's a fun group. It's a friendly group. Oh, it's the friendly. It's got three F's. Free, yeah. friendly, fun. Oh, see what you did there too. And freaking good. How about that? Freaking. Freaking. <laughs> well, it's a family show. I, I see. Fucking curse on this show. Right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being with us here. We will, of course, be back next week for something completely different. As usual. As we always are. Until that time, we really do appreciate you being with us here. Have a good rest of your day, your week, whatever it is you're doing. But we'll see you next week for more Acid Wash Memories. See ya. Like what you heard? Be sure to leave a review and subscribe on your favorite podcast app. We will see you next week. Bye.